Welcome to Yubico. In this video, I'm going to show the YubiKey Neo loaded with our Oath applet being used with my Android smartphone to display Oath one-time passcodes or OTPs. These are used for two-step verification with services such as Google Apps, Dropbox, Hotmail, and so on. The one-time passcodes are six or eight digit numbers that change every 30 seconds or on request. You may already have Google Authenticator app on your smartphone. Beware, the cryptographic secrets used to generate the next code are stored on the device and could be phished by malware. It's also difficult to move for credentials to another device. With the YubiKey Neo and Oath applet, you carry those secrets with you on your keychain and can use any NFC-equipped phone or tablet with the UBOTH app to display the current set of one-time passcodes. Once set up, the cryptographic secrets never leave the safety of your YubiKey Neo. I've downloaded the UBOTH app from Google's Play Store. Let's run it. When I tap my YubiKey Neo on the back of my Galaxy Nexus, it shows my credentials list is empty. So let's add a new credential. These are generally displayed by services as a QR code. I have set up a test code in my browser. From the menu, I select Scan New QR Code, point the camera at my browser, and the app captures the cred credential details. I tap my YubiKey Neo to my phone, and the credential is securely stored on my Neo and erased from the phone and the display shows the current OTP. Notice the timer bar. Once 30 seconds has passed, the OTP is greyed out. To get the next OTP, I just tap again and it updates. I can store many credentials on my YubiKey Neo. I have another Neo here, so let's see that one. I tap the Neo on the back of my phone and a list of all my OTPs are displayed. I can also password protect my credentials on my Neo, delete expired credentials and so on. Want to know more? Go to yubico.com.